competing in a Wednesday versus Enid Adopt Me Build Challenge. I'll be creating Wednesday's house. And I'll be creating Enid's house. Make sure to comment down below whose house you like better. <laughs> Alright, since I'm in charge of building Wednesday's house, we just can't have this mushroom house anymore, right? Like, I really don't think she'd like that very much. I don't like this mushroom house either, so let's change it up. So what are our options? We got a pizza place, a tree house. I mean, the tree house is pretty cool. A pirate ship. Oh my gosh, Wednesday's not a pirate. The crooked house is kind of cool, kind of creepy. The mansion is kind of cool, kind of creepy with that pointy tip. After taking a look at all these good options, I really think the scary house is the most Wednesday. Here we go. Ooh, look at her. She's so scary. That really looks like somewhere this girl would go, doesn't it? It really suits her. But this purple lighting, absolutely not. Black it is. All right, let's go inside. Hello, scary crow. Ooh, very Wednesday. I'm gonna step in this vat of acid. Okay, first things first. Wednesday's not having hardwood floors. This is just so not the vibe. We gotta change the floors. Uh, no. The checkered? No, it's not a kitchen. Maybe in the kitchen we do that. I feel like the black floor makes the most sense because she's allergic to color. So we don't want any color in here anyway. <gasps> or the gray carpet. I actually like that vibe. It kind of looks like gravel. I'm doing it. I got to change all the levels. I bet after I'm done with this, Wednesday's actually going to move in. Let's see. Let's find out. <gasps> What does she keep in here? It's like Wednesday's already been living in here. But what are those food bowls? Does Thing eat out pumpkin food bowls? Might have to get rid of those later. Okay, now that all the floors and the walls have been changed, it's time to start decorating. Okay, I found the Halloween section. This makes the most sense. I really like this evil chandelier. Oh, that is too cool. Um, no, no, sorry, not upside down. Look at those cool candles. Look at that. Uh, right in the entranceway already. This is looking fantastic. Also, because Wednesday's scared of color, we have to get rid of these weird, I don't know, purple mushrooms. I'm selling them for nothing. They're gone. There's another one over here. Get out of my life. Okay, now we need to keep working on the entryway. I really do like this guy that's holding up the pillar because it's like he's struggling. So anybody coming into the house, they know what might happen to them. So they're going to be walking on eggshells. But I feel like we maybe need a window. I love this evil window. What is it doing upside down? Maybe that's kind of the vibe because like, why would it be upside down, you know? One black window and one also right beside it. This is Halloween. This is Wednesday's house. Scary. Now, I really do like this table. I think the skulls are very neat, but I'm gonna get rid of this chair and replace it with some different chairs. Evil chair. What makes it so evil? There we go. That is a neato little chair and I like that it's wood too. Let's do a couple more. Now we've got two chairs at the table for one Ken's wants to come over and play cards. What are these floating lights? That's almost like weird magic. Because when's he can do magic and stuff, right? I put floating crystals in the sky and I made them black. That is so cool. It's like we're defying the laws of gravity in here. I want another chandelier. What is this girl doing in my house? Get out of my house! This is Wednesday's house. You're not allowed to be in here. Was I supposed to lock the door? Look at that. I put another lantern right on the other side. That's matching, but it's a different branch. There we go. We're changing it from red because, you know, Wednesday doesn't like the color. There we go. Can we change this? I don't want that thing to be green anymore. <gasps> So cool. All these white lights. Oh, this is such a Wednesday vibe. What is this cool hanging chain? We're gonna do more chains. I feel like I need to put something here. There just can't be this like weird green white hot tub and then there's nothing over here. Like maybe a bench or something for when you get out. A coffin fridge. See, I like this because what if I get hungry after I've been in the tub? You know, like this is Wednesday's house. She can do whatever she wants. She wants to go for a tub and then she wants to eat a snack. Well, I have a table in the other room, but this is the table that I'd like to do meetings at, so I need to redo this entire room. Let's check on how Kent is doing. I am creating Enid's house, which is gonna be so easy for me because the Enid and me are pretty much like the same people. We both love colorful things. Now, this is not Enid's house. We need to get her something new, something bigger, something better, and obviously something with a lot of color. Let's see what our options are here. Hmm, Enid, what do you like? I mean, I actually just asked myself, what do I like? A party house? I bet you Enid loves to party. <gasps> a donut shop? Mm, does she like donuts? I mean, I like donuts, and we're pretty much the same person, so she must also like donuts. Now, we're doing the party house. I think she loves to party. Oh my gosh, this is a lot of money. We're going for it, though. Oh my gosh, this party house is popping off. Everyone's gonna be at my house. I'm gonna change the color, though. I don't want it blue. I want it pink. We love pink. Oh, it's so cute. Okay, come on, Enid. Let's go inside our house. Oh my, almost bigger than the door. Okay, come on, let's go in. Oh my gosh, there's nothing inside this house. We need to put on our interior designer pants because this house is a lot of work to do. Let's start with the floors. I feel like Enid has a good taste in design. Ooh, what should we do? Oh my gosh, why are the dinosaurs so cute? I love them. Or 
or should we just do full on rainbow? She does love rainbow. Whoa, what about the mountains? I mean, that's pretty outdoorsy. I don't know if she's really into that. Or the pink zigzag. Is this kind of like pink carpet? I feel like this is definitely her vibe. It kind of matches her sweater too. Okay, we're getting it. I convinced myself. What about the walls? We need the walls. Wood walls? Uh, I don't know if that's really the vibe. We can do the panda walls. Oh my gosh, now that is too pink. That just looks like my house now. I think we keep it cool and casual. Let's do the white. Let's do the white and bright. Now, I need to sell all of this stuff because this stuff is ugly. It is not colorful enough for us. I'm selling you. I'm selling you. And I'm selling all of you. Definitely. You gotta go. Okay, now we got a clean slate. What do we think of the doing in the kitchen over here and then the living room on this side? Okay, let's start with the living room. We need to lay down some rugs. This is important. And let's make them purple. Ooh, she loves purple. I just love how bright and colorful she is all the time. It just makes me so happy. Or it makes me happy that I'm not like the only weirdo out there who loves color. And I've got to do my cool hack to make the TV stand on the wall. This is like my favorite hack to do, you guys. You put up all the blocks. You just lay them all beside each other. Hmm, what kind of TV would she like? Ooh, a cloud one. But I want a big one. We want a big TV. We need to see everything. And then you just place the TV right on top of the block. And then get rid of those blocks. We do not need those blocks no more. And ta-da! You have the TV just sitting on the wall just like that. What kind of couch would she have? Oh, definitely pink and purple. We're going pink and purple. I don't want to block the entrance of the door, though. Maybe I should put it on this side. Fabulous. And we need a big, long one right here in the middle. Maybe a white couch. There's got to be something in the living room section here. Ooh, a booth sofa. Oh, my gosh. This could be perfect. It looks so cozy and comfy. What if we make it white? Should we make it white? Whoa, that's kind of sick. I am not going to lie. It looks, like, so comfy. And then maybe on this other side here, I'll put some two comfy chairs. Oh, I don't like how there's black pillow in it. I don't think she likes black that much. <gasps> what about beanbag chairs? Oh, she definitely the type that likes some beanbag chair. Okay, I want to make it pink. I want to make it hot pink so it looks good with the couch right across from it. And then I'll do two for me and Wednesday. Wait, maybe I should make this one black so then Wednesday can sit on this one because we all know that Wednesday's a larger color. I mean, I know it doesn't really go with the aesthetic of my house, but I feel like it's kind to do for a friend. So I've got my beanbag chair here and then Wednesday's right here and then we got a big couch for when all of our friends come over and then also a cute little couch. Maybe we can take some selfies in here. It's definitely not bright enough in this house so we need to add some windows. <gasps> Two heart windows both on each side of the TV. Fabulous. See, it's so much more roomy in here. And we need some lamps. A heart-shaped lamp, of course. This reminds me of Valentine's Day. I mean, Valentine's Day is coming up. It's getting real soon. Spooky house. Oh, I bet you this is where Wednesday is hanging out. She's in the spooky house section. I need to get out of that section. I do not belong there. Oh, cute. What about some fairy trees? We can add in some trees here. Right by the TV. Oh, that's perfect. One on each side of the TV, I think is good. She doesn't only like pink and purple. She also loves the color blue. Why don't we do some blue for the kitchen? Ooh, let's get some countertops over here. <gasps> this is like a perfect color blue. I'm gonna make my house look so bright and pretty. What kind of style of fridges do we got going on here? <gasps> should we do the rainbow one? Oh, I think we should do the rainbow one. Gosh, it's so big and so large in my house. I mean, it'll do. It kind of fits perfectly. Okay, now that I built it against the wall there, I think I should put a little island in. A kitchen island. I think that'll be perfect. This is where I can sit at and eat all my snacks. And don't forget to put the counters on the top too. I feel like it just makes it look so much more put together. Wait, why is it not working? Uh, here we go. Start with them on the bottom and then work your way up. Why is it not working? Look on the top. Okay, that's okay. I'll just stack them and move them over. Here you go. This is another hack that you guys can use. Now I want some chairs for my kitchen island. I need somewhere to sit. An egg chair? That is rude that you would even recommend that to me. What are you saying about me? You call me an egg? No, I want the heart chair. I think we should make these purple. And I'll put them all along the counter. Here's the thing with Enid. She does not discriminate against color. She loves all color. Here we go. We've got our cute little chairs all set up. I think Lail's absolutely gonna love this house, but Wednesday, on the other hand, she might break out in hives. We need a dining room section right over here. It's a perfect spot. I want a long table so I can invite all my friends over. When you're someone like Enid, you got a lot of friends. Because even she's nice to everybody. Everyone wants to be her friend. Tables are just not big enough. What if I stack them together? Could that work? Oh, yes. Another hack, you guys. I'm just going to stack all the tables together and create one long table. I'm going to angle it this way, though. How have I never thought of this idea before? Someone, tell me. Tell me. Why am I such a genius? I'm regretting this decision. I'm regretting it instantly. Oh, my gosh. Why can't I change the color? Okay, I'm selling them. I'm getting rid of them. We're redoing this all right now. Whoa, royal palace table. Oh, I need to buy more money. All right, here we go. Let's see. Oh, this royal palace table is perfect. Maybe I'll even get two of them. I'll stack them side by side. Here we go. This is most definitely the vibe that we're going for here, Enid. You know, at first people were telling me it was Enid, but I'm like, uh, no, it's Enid. Like, don't question me. I know my girl. You know what I mean? Okay, that's kind of perfect. Now we need some chairs for everyone. What about cute modern chairs? Oh my gosh, I can't change the color. No, there's no way we're keeping that black. A mark made chair. Okay, 
New idea, why don't we put one chair at one end for me and at the other end, we'll put Wednesday's chair. And then we can have dinner together. What kind of chair do you guys think Wednesday would like? Whoa, this one's black. It's floating black chair. An evil chair. I mean, she's not evil, but I guess this one could work. Let's make it black. <gasps> oh, that is perfect for her. And of course, this place needs some more windows. Car windows, obviously. I'm getting rid of these windows. I want to make them, ooh, let's put them like beside each other, square by square. He definitely sets the tone in the house, I'm telling you. I mean, look how much brighter it is in here. You can put two little cute hearts on both sides of this big heart. Maybe I should change up the colors of the hearts. Maybe like a purple. We'll throw purple in there. I mean, it honestly doesn't look that different of a color. Well, what if we make this blue? Oh, there we go. That's how we're doing it. What about yellow? She's got like a yellow too, right? Mm, I don't know. It doesn't really match my vibe. Maybe an orange because she has an orange in her sweater. What the heck? It hardly looks orange. It looks yellow again. Okay, I don't know about you guys, but I think this house is looking fabulous. I'm gonna go upstairs and finish the rest of the rooms and then I will finish and give you guys all a tour. <laughs> Okay, kids, it's time for my Wednesday house reveal. Oh my gosh, this is so creepy. I already know it's gonna be scary. Isn't it the Wednesday house? This is the Wednesday no, house. No, this is like the perfect Wednesday house. You picked a good one. First, we come into my lair. What is this place? Are you like torturing people in here? No, it's kind of creepy. There's no color at all because we know Wednesday hates color and I just love these windows. Yeah, but what about the skulls on the table? Are you eating those skulls or well, is that decoration? Well, obviously it's decoration, but like they were people before and I'm trying to show people like you guys don't want to come in here because I feel like Wednesday doesn't want visitors. Wait, you know? is those are her ancestors, aren't they? Yeah, yeah, I put them there for a reason, Ken's. Oh my god. Before we go upstairs, we'll go over here. First, I want to show you the formal dining room. This is where we'll be hanging out. Hanging out? Or is this where we're going to be eating dinner? This is where we're going to be eating dinner. Now we're coming over here. Oh, sorry. Can't look Wait, down what's, there. Wait, what's downstairs? No, you can't look down there. That's where I keep things. Wait, what do you mean? What kind of things? Well, here's my music room. Again, more of my ancestors in the floor. Oh my god. But you know how Wednesday likes to play the cello. I just thought also a decorative piano. Even if nobody plays it, I feel like that's a vibe. Yeah, I feel like it's a type of piano that has like cobwebs on it. Yeah. Oh, like gross and creepy And spiders. at night, it plays it on its own. Okay, now it's time to go upstairs. Okay, what's upstairs? <gasps> Super freaky deaky kitchen area. Oh my gosh, what is that wallpaper? It looks like neurons or something. <laughs> That's a really good word, Ken. No, it's kind of like we're in the bushes. It's kind of creepy. It's like little nerve endings or something. I don't like that. It's scary. This is the little bed where Thing goes to sleep. That's where Thing sleeps? Yeah. And it's then, like a cobweb bed. Yeah, but he likes it in there. And then this is my little shower. That's your shower? It, it says there's like toxic stuff in it. No, but like it gets me the cleanest. Okay. And then up here is where I sleep. Oh my gosh. It's like, is that a grave? It's yeah. like a graveyard. Yeah, because Wednesday likes to sleep there and she also likes to read books. Oh my gosh. She has a lot of books in that room. Yeah. It's and like a, a library. Lot of, and a lot of her dead ancestors that she likes to hang out with. Oh my gosh. She's just hanging out with them there and she sleeps right on the RIP. Yeah, RIP to her. And honestly, she also just doesn't have a phone. So she doesn't use TikTok. She doesn't use YouTube. She doesn't watch our videos. She so. just reads books all day? All day. All right, Kent, is it time for you to show me Enid's house? Yeah, this house is way too dark and sad and depressing for me. So let's change the mode. Fine. <laughs> Okay, now it's time for you to see my beautiful party house. Kent, it's just a lot of pink all the time. No, it's not enough pink, okay? And she doesn't only like pink. She likes all types of colors. So let me show you. So here Whoa. is my beautiful house. Honestly, it's a really cool layout, Kent. Do you like it? So we got the living room over here. We have my pink chair that I'm going to be sitting on. And I even made you a little beanbag chair right here, black. Because I know that Wednesday is allergic to color. So I don't want her to get like hives and stuff like that, so I made her a little chair. It's kind of amazing, and I like that it matches the heart. Oh my gosh, that's a long table, Ken. Yeah, so this is our uh, dining room table, and then I'm gonna sit over here. Enid's gonna be on this side, and then Wednesday is gonna be all the way over here on this side. Ken's such a big table. How are we even gonna hear each other? Well, I don't really think Wednesday likes to hear or listen to me talk at all, so that's why I put her all the way over here. That's a good point. And then this is my cute little kitchen. So we have a rainbow fridge <laughs> over here, and you can open it up and grab a snack if you want to sometimes. Or eggs. Or eggs. Why do you like eggs so much? You have a weird obsession with eggs. It's kind of creeping me out. And then also, you can also just sit at the island just like this. It looks amazing, Kenz. I love the kitchen. Thank you. But Wednesday would hate the kitchen. I don't even know if she would come in here. Okay, now I'm going to take you all the way upstairs. Ooh, what's upstairs, Kenz? Okay, take a look. This is my master bedroom. Oh my gosh, this is insane. Yeah, you think it's nice? This is my bed over here. It's so big. You sleeping in donuts, Mackenzie? Yeah, I love donuts. I love eating donuts, especially the purple and the pink ones. Those ones are like, like my favorite because they're so sweet. And then over here, we have my 
clothing rack so I can pick up my outfits in the morning. And your really nice windows. My goodness. Yeah, these are my beautiful windows. And then over here is my gumball machine because sometimes I crave candy, like all the time, actually. Why is it so big, Ken? How are you even going to eat those? I just, like, snack on them. Like, it just, it takes me a while. Like, sometimes I go through one gumball and it'll take me, like, an entire week. Oh, wow. That's definitely good food value. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And then over here are all my presents from Christmas that I still haven't used oh. because I have a lot of friends, so they give me, like, a lot of presents. And then my balcony is over here, so if anyone walks in my house, I'm like, hey, how's it going, girl? And then over here is my ball pit because Enid loves to have fun and she loves colors. So sometimes she'll just go in the ball pit and then just... Do this. Round. Yeah, she likes this. And that was my beautiful Enid house. Now comment down below whose house you like better, Wednesdays or Enid's.